Alright, so there's a topic that I really think is starting to get a little bit blown out of proportion if you ask me because this has been going on for a while now. Like, I'm talking thousands upon thousands of likes on Twitter. And that is the Sonic model that is being used for Sonic Frontiers. And it just it goes to show how starved we are as Sonic fans for content because one little screenshot was able to spark this debate very hugely, right? So I just want to give my thoughts on that and whether it's a very big deal or not but if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please make sure to subscribe we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and if i had 70k subscribers before sonic frontiers comes out azuka has promised that he might lengthen the quills of sonic in the game so that we can enjoy a nicer model but if you don't know what i'm talking about Obviously, the first time we saw Sonic Frontiers in-game was in December, when they gave us that trailer, which was mostly CGI, but then they showed the in-game shot, and we could see that it was using the Forces model. And then, of course, we got that gameplay screenshot some days ago, which they then removed from the official Sega Instagram, and that also showed Sonic in-game, again, using the Forces model. It's amazing how much one screenshot can do, because, like, the way people have been going back and forth on this on Twitter, it's, like, insane. Like, some people are making it out to be the worst thing ever like we are doomed or this fucking sucks and other people are just like guys stop complaining stop bitching stop moaning it's just a model yada 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 and it's like where do i stand on this issue right and the truth is i don't give a fuck right but at the same time i do give a fuck i just feel like there's too many things to give a fuck about to actually give a fuck about this if that makes sense right like there's a good chance that sonic frontiers is going to use the forces model in the game right and i don't know why people are truly mad about this because it could be one of two things it could be the fact that the quills are shorter and therefore the model is less appealing but it's been that way since post generations and i didn't see people bitching as much then i mean i've always prefer longer quills you know that the 06 model is my favorite model personally and i love the heroes model as well the, the whole longer quills era is my vibe right so i clearly don't like shorter quills but during the forces build up and you can correct me if i'm wrong but during the forces build up i didn't see people bitching about the short quills like they are now which leads me to believe that it's not the model that they hate it's the association with forces right i mean forces is not a great game a lot of people don't like it i mean if you like it that's fine i'm not trying to hate on you if you like forces you're allowed to love the game right i love 06 people love games that not everyone loves like unpopular opinions are fine but i feel like the association with forces seems to be a bigger issue than the actual model itself is the fact that they took something from forces and forces bad and i mean i could see how that would affect people's perception of it because you know it's forces right i mean even when generations was coming out i saw a few people especially the classic fanboys trying to bitch and moan that they put an 06 level in there 06 bad 06 bad and it turned out to be one of the best levels in the game don't at me but yeah i can see how forces was made and therefore the association to it is a big deal but at the end of the day like it is just a model right and i think that's the issue here i think it's not that i don't care because i mean a model is still important you're gonna see it throughout the entire game it's just that we're not dealing with an insomniac we're not dealing with nintendo making the next 3d mario here or the next big release we're dealing with sega more importantly one of the weakest links of sega sonic team and i just don't trust them enough with the actual game so to like focus on the model is really hard for me like me and twip were talking about this before like twip was like this is a big deal this is an issue and i'm just sitting there like to me the model issue is like a leaking kitchen sink like yeah it's a leaking kitchen sink it's an issue right we gotta sort this out but then at the same time of the leaking kitchen sink there is a house on fire that has a leaking kitchen sink so it's like and that house on fire is the actual game itself now obviously we haven't seen the gameplay so i'm not saying the game is going to be bad but based on that track record that sonic team have ruined since generations i'm sitting there thinking like is this game even going to be good like are they going to knock it out of the pot is it going to be amazing like or is it going to be horrible and that thought that it's going to be horrible is like the house on fire like if there was a leaking kitchen sink and you had a perfectly made house no problems with the house then then yeah you could be like let's call a plumber let's sort out this leaking kitchen sink this is a big deal but if the house is on fire i can't even bring it in me like, i don't have the mental capacity to focus on the leaking kitchen sink i'm trying to get all my loved ones out of the house i'm trying to call the fight the fight the ambulance to come and like sort this shit out
out because like I don't want people to die in the fire. I don't want to lose my belong. I need to go and get my like SSDs, my hard drives, my data, like my laptop. I don't want to lose my laptop in the fire. My limited edition silver the hedgehog Sonic 06 statue. So when people come to me saying, but what about the kitchen sink? I'm just like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Like I don't care about the fucking model. Like, but I do care. It's just that how am I supposed to put all my energy into that when I'm sitting here every time I talk about Frontiers, I'm sitting here worrying that they're not gonna make the game the way they're supposed to make it. Like with the Sonic elements in the open world, with good level design, with good physics that resemble SA1 so you can use momentum around the environment. Like all these things, like decent amount of challenge. It's like worrying about the small things feels like a luxury that only affords fans or franchises that actually release consistently high quality games. So not us. Literally the only thing about Frontiers right now that I'm not worried about is the visuals. Like I believe the game is gonna look stunning. That's the only thing I can hand on my heart say that I'm not worrying about. Everything else is like a worry. So to focus on this model is like, I don't know. And to the people saying, oh, it's just a placeholder, uh, that seems like making a big assumption, right? I mean, you could say it's an assumption to say that it's not a placeholder, but they showed it to us. So we're allowed to believe that this is what's gonna be in the game, right? I told you, you should be hyped for things that you have seen not things that you haven't seen and what we have seen is this model on two instances in the screenshot in january and in the end game that we saw in december so at this point we have to assume this is the model they are using right like how many times have they changed a sonic model drastically after showing it to us in trailers like i'm trying to think like prove me wrong if you because uh, i might not remember but i'm trying to think generations gameplay showed generations model lost world gameplay before the game came out showed the lost world model same with forces why would they just keep this placeholder model all this time and not change it? Like, if they really wanted to go a different stylistic direction for Sonic's model, they had multiple years that they've been working on this game to give us another model and be like, this is the new model for the game, like, and show it to us in December or whatever. I mean, they didn't show us any in-game in May, so they had until December 2021, which is four years after Forces came out, for them to have put in a new model, if that was really their business, right? But they didn't, right? It's fair to assume that they're gonna keep this. No, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong when they change it, but I think people playing this card of it's just a placeholder seems like a bit of a copium dioxide at this point because like, listen to what they're telling you, listen to what they're putting in front of you and not what they could maybe put in front of you later. But even this debate kind of annoys me even more because it's just like, we could be getting so much more if they actually put in that extra mile of effort. Like for example, if we were to get like actual skins and shit like that, like you think about Crash 4, not Wrath of Cortex obviously, like the good Crash 4, and they've got all these different crash skins and even have the OG skin in there and you can just pick essentially which model you like and it's just like things like that are things I wanted to see like I made a video talking about good and bad ideas for Frontiers' open world and I mentioned in there I wanted to be able to have different models in there as an option like to be able to just go in there and like with in-game currency just buy the SA2 model or the Heroes model the 06 model and just switch it out these are the extra mile things that games that are above an 8 out of 10 would do to entice you things that they don't need to do for the game to be good but things that if they did people would truly appreciate that extra mile shit and if they were doing things like that there would be no debate in the first place it would just be like i'm gonna use whatever model i want no big deal but because we don't expect that from say because we lowered the bar for them it's like oh well, well this is the model either we like it or we don't if we don't we wait for modders to come in and put in the model that they want realistically it's not gonna take that long for someone to mod in the unleashed or generations model i'm personally waiting for the 06 model mod but you know is what it is but of course that won't fix things like animations and stuff like that if they got really stiff animations in the game and we're still gonna have to deal with that and really that's a whole separate issue to be honest compared to the actual model like great animations would make the model more tolerable but again i've never really been a short quill fan but given that i am a pc user it's not the end of the world for me right i just want the game to be fire that's all i want i want the game to be fire so fire that no one even has the energy to even complain about something like this i mean I mean, obviously it's still important to have a character that you like looking at i'm not denying that but we've got so much more to worry about as sonic fans that's all i'm saying okay this is like a mild scratch on my arm compared to like breaking my leg or some shit like that i don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think about this the model debate is getting pretty huge and the association to forces people are not happy with do you think it's a big deal? Do you think there's bigger things to worry about? Do you think it's still a placeholder? And do you think Sega might go the extra mile and give us multiple different models to use? But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So 
Premier.